Well, now to our continuing coverage of that devastating situation in Florida. We've now learned that Rose Holman graduate, along with his wife and three children, are among the many people unaccounted for after this week's condo tower collapse in South Florida. A school leaders posted to Rose Holman's Facebook page. They hope Lewis Pettingle and his family will emerge safely. Now the intense search and rescue has not stopped and it will not stop. At least five people have died, 156 people still unaccounted for. But now they've made a heartbreaking discovery. Isabel Rosales has the, the very latest. Our teams have been working around the clock as always to search for survivors. They have not stopped. Search teams discovering another body in the rubble from Thursday's partial collapse of a condo building in Surfside, Florida. As well, our search has revealed uh, some human remains. Officials relying on DNA testing to identify the victims. According to the Miami-Dade mayor, family members of the unaccounted have all provided DNA samples. Although we're burdened with such despair, we're burdened with heavy hearts at the moment, we're lifted up by a lot of the faith of the miracles that God can create. Loved ones holding on to hope as crews make progress in containing a fire in the rubble that has drastically affected search and rescue efforts. Uh, currently, we're searching the entire uh, debris field. We are going to do a very deep dive into why this building fell down. A report on the building from 2018 included concerns about structural damage. A consultant said failure to replace the waterproofing in the near future will cause the extent of the concrete deterioration to expand exponentially. Morabito consultants who issued the report says that they are deeply troubled by this building collapse and that they are working closely with the investigating authorities to understand why the structure failed. And the mayor there of Miami-Dade says that they are currently working on accommodating requests from the family members who actually visit, pray, and reflect there at the site. In Surfside, Florida, Isabel Rosales. And right now, four of the five victims have been identified. 54-year-old Stacy Dong Fang, 83-year-old Antonio Lozano and his wife Gladys Lozano, she's 79, and 54-year-old Manuel LaFont. The fifth victim found last night has not yet been identified. Officials say that 130 residents are accounted for so far in an attempt to prevent a similar situation from happening again. An audit of all of the structures in Miami-Dade County that are at least 40 years old is underway.